is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. I have just spent the last three days solo camping in remote Australia. We've been building shelters, catching food, making water, and starting fires, and it's been a bloody good time. Sit back, strap yourselves in, because this one, this is bloody fun. Bloody flies are friendly. The one thing we don't have a lot of out here right now is water. I've probably got enough water to last me tonight, maybe just to get me through tomorrow morning. But once this water's out, we are completely out of water out here. There are so many signs of animals around here. That right there is kangaroo shit. Also, these holes that the kangaroos dig and lay up during the days and during the night. There's a lot of sign of animal activity out here. We've got a long way to walk to where I want to end up tonight, but we're just going to keep a very keen eye out for water sources, natural springs, etc. We've been hoofing it for quite a while now and we have most definitely got a sweat going on. I haven't found any sort of materials which are going to help us out. But what we have come across is this and this here looks pretty bloody good. This is a big beautiful open sandy patch. There's a nice rocky outcrop along the back here which is going to protect us from a bit of wind. I right, reckon this right here is what we're going to call home. I'll clean it up a little bit. This, this is going to be home. Flies are so hectic. First thing we're gonna need is this a razor sharp axe. Hi, it is bloody hot out here right now. I need to hydrate and the water that we've got in here is running out very bloody quickly. It is stinking hot out here. Home, sweet home. Look at this. What I've got here is just another little rug or a little tarp. I'm gonna roll this tarp out on the ground so we're not sleeping directly on the sand this time. Look at this, man. Man, I just need to get some shade for a second. It is that bloody hot out here right now. Oh, dude. This right there is a bag of goat meat jerky. All it is is soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, a ton of chilies out of the garden, a little bit of mixed herbs and spices, and um, paprika, that's all it is. Dried out in a drying box. It is so good, man. Perfect little snack when you're on a camping trip like this. I've just fixed up the shelter a little bit, so you can see now it's not flopping around as much. What I've done is I've put two sticks, made two tent pegs, just out of a stick like this, you can make a tent peg pretty simple. And I've just pegged the whole back corner of that down. So now, she's very, very firm. There is no flopping and jumping around. Look at that, you can see there, that's where a kangaroo's been laid up. This big kangaroo, he's been laying right there. You can see him, There's a lot of kangaroo shit in here. Dry kangaroo dung's actually not a bad way to start a fire. 
See that? That's just fibers in there. They're little baby grass fibers. You'll probably collect a little bit of this on the way back, but that's a great, great, great way to start a fire. Tell you what, there's not much up here, but it is one hell of a view. Look at that. We're going to utilize some of those trees on that riverbed down there. There we go. Now this tree right here, this tree is going to help us out massively tonight. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to harvest a couple of handfuls of these leaves. What we'll do is we'll just stick them in our pocket here, and we're going to take them back to base camp. But what you can do with these leaves is, just grab a handful like this. What you want to do is you want to mash them up. Get them right in between your hands and mash them right so you get that sap coming out. What that sap does, it becomes like an insect repellent. You can smell that, it's got a eucalyptus like smell to it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. That'll keep the mosquitoes and bugs off me. It's about time we've got a little bit of a fire going down here. So what we got is a leatherman and a flint. We just got a little bit of bark down here. What I've got down there is just cr crunched up kangaroo shit. So I've got a handful of kangaroo shit here. All you do is mince it up into these little flakes and you just lay it down onto your bit of bark, just like this. The sun has completely gone down right now, so it's about time to start setting up a bedroom. What have we got here? Blow up pillow. Just like that, we're gonna have a hell of a night's sleep. I do also have out here a blow up mattress, but I'm considering not putting the blow up mattress up. We've got a tarp, we've got a nice flat bed of sand here. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm just gonna try to lay pillow back straight on the sand on this little tarp we've got and see how we go if it comes if it does become very uncomfortable we'll bust out the blow up mat but for right now it ain't too bloody bad out here oh every day bro this is perfect oh well there we go i've just covered myself in nature's insect repellent I'm covered head to toe in white gum leaves. They'll keep the mosquitoes off me. They'll keep the sand flies away. Look at that sunset, man. This is absolutely bloody beautiful out here right now. One thing that I have done is that we actually don't have a fire at all. The reason why I put the fire out is because we've actually got nothing to even cook on the fire. We don't have any fish. We don't have any water to boil. We've got nothing to even put on there. So I put the fire out. I don't need a fire for tonight. It's going to be bloody hot anyway. So that's it, my doggies. I'll see you guys in the morning bright and early. We've got some incredibly good food to cook for breakfast. So I'm looking forward to that. Good bloody morning. It's early. A little bit of light in the sky right now. Believe it or not, I've been woken up by flies. Look at this. There's that many flies around my head right now. It's incredible. I just woke up to flies all over my face. What a way to start a morning. This place is absolutely beautiful. We had a big purple sky over there just before. Man, such a nice place. The flies are extremely, extremely aggressive right now. This water should just about be done. Good bloody morning. Coffee around a fire. 
Oh, that's so good. All right, now we're gonna make one of the best breakfasts you can ever make when you're out of your camping. This right here, this is the field day secret pancake mix in this bag. The problem with making pancakes out in the bush is that pancakes require water. And right now, we ain't got a lot of water left. That is all the water that we've got out here right now. So we're definitely gonna have to generate a little bit of water today once that sun starts coming up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of this water into this pancake mix down here. A little bit of butter going straight into the pan. Oh, that looks so good. We're gonna make a couple of these bloody bush pancakes because they look that good. All right, absolutely bloody beautiful. I've just knocked back about five or six pancakes. We got one more pancake down here on the cook. Look at that thing. We'll let that fire go out. We no longer need a cooking fire. We've had our coffee, we've had our breakfast. Look at the sun. That sun's just starting to grease up over there. What a way to start a bloody day. All right, here we go. We're gonna see if we can generate a little bit of water using this plastic bag right here. We wanna take the moisture out of these white gum leaves with this big plastic bag that we've got. This is how we're looking. We've got a big beautiful bag full of leaves. It's been tied off tight around the stem it's coming off. We've also tied it off down here. That's gonna stop the bugs and the sediment, but it's gonna let the water fill up this little bulb. So hopefully when we come back later on, there's a little bit of water in here. Obviously right now it's bone dry, but hopefully we can get a little bit of water out of this. Usually it works not too bad. You can generate about a cup over the entire day. So let's see how we go. That is looking pretty good. That sun's gonna come around the back of this tree and that bag's gonna be in the sun for the entire day. Hopefully we can generate a little bit of water because we don't have much water left in this bag right now. We've got a little pond of water down here. And um, there's a little bit of fish movement inside. Look at the fish. You can see the fish moving around in here. Oh, there's a kangaroo up there, look. Look at this kangaroo up here. There he goes. Kangaroo just busted through the bush up there. You can see, look at the fish in it. There's fish busting up. Oh, look at them all. Heaps of fish. This pond would be no more than 30 meters long by about eight meters wide and it is full of fish. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try to dig up some worms. We're gonna try to find crickets, slater bugs, anything, spiders, anything we can use for bait. We're gonna lob out a little bit of fishing line and a hook. See if we can chuck a couple of these fish on a fire for dinner later on. Take your pick of fishing bait right now. We've got a heap of these little ants. See these little white ants here? They've got a big juicy ass on them, full of meat. Look at these slater bugs. There's a slater bug right there, come here. You get enough of them, there's enough of them to chuck on a hook. Here we've got a little slug. There's another slater bug there. So I'm just gonna put an unweighted hook on, chuck out some of them slater bugs and just hold on and see what happens. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna keep pushing on. I'm gonna go find a little bit of a creek, see if we can get a fish out of a creek. Oh, oh my God. What is this thing, bro? Are you kidding? Look at the size of that brim right there. Oh my God. This has gotta be the most unexpected catch ever. That is a good brim, man. That thing just punished a cricket. We just threw a cricket out under this little log here and it would have been out there for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. And this big old brim has just come in and smoked it.
Oi, oi, oi. Oh, we've got another one on. I've just covered that fish in mud up there, so it's out of the sun. It's nice and cool. It should stay pretty cool for the mo most of the day. It's got a very thick layer of mud on it. We just had another bite just then. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh. That's another brim. He's not sized. He's going to go back. There he goes. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Bang. There's another one. And that little fella there is called a grunter or a trumpeter or call it whatever you bloody want. Beautiful looking fish. We've eaten them before, but we don't need to eat this fella because we've got a big old brim sitting in a bed of mud behind me. So we'll put him back. See ya, buddy. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Bang. There's another one. What I want to do right now is just keep cruising up the bank here. I want to go and investigate around the corner. So we'll go for a bit of an explore and see what's up around the corner here. Have a look at this fella in here. This is what happens when you don't have enough water. That right there, my friends, is a dead kangaroo. They've got a serious set of bloody claws. This is only a small kangaroo, but have a look at the size of the bloody claws on him. That'll gouge you open if you get kicked by one. His kangaroo probably died of dehydration, and I'm not too far behind him. Talking about dehydration, what I think we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn around, we'll start walking back the way we came. We've probably got about three, three and a half hours left of sunlight in the day. I wanna go pick up the fish, grab the fish out of that mud puddle that we left it in. We'll go check the bag on the tree, see if we've generated any water. And we'll start heading back to camp. Start thinking about making a little bit of an afternoon around camps, cause I'll tell you what, mate, I've done some Ks today and uh, we don't have a lot of water in the backpack right now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got some water in that bag on the tree. Wow. That is incredible. Look at the water droplets all over this. Every single drop of water is a little bit of water. It's gonna get us through, but that's not what I'm excited about. What I'm excited about is this down here. Look at that. That is full of water. You can see it up the top there. That whole bulb, that'll be about a cup of water right there. And it actually comes right up into here and up into here. And what we do now, we just bang him. We give him a good bang and you can see these big beads of water running down everywhere. Yes. That right there is well, well over a cup of water. Look at it all. Next probably hour or so, I'm just gonna hang around and just lay back and just chill and then we'll go gather that water. Tonight we are gonna cook one hell of a feed around the fire. I'm very much looking forward to that, but for now, it's time to chill. Oh, dude. Look at that, dude. That is the most water I have ever, ever got out of one of them bloody bags over a tree. That's probably about a cup and a half in there. It's clean, we just ran it through that neck buff. We should be able to get on the, on the website, fieldayshop.com. They're probably very, very close to being out. So check out the online shop if you guys wanna grab these. And these shirts, these shirts will also be on the online shop very, very bloody soon. But that water right there, that is 100% drinkable water. Bro, oh, that's a lot of water. 
And because we've got this water, we're making something very, very bloody good for dinner. I'm excited now because we've got enough water. We've got enough water to spare. So I want this fish just to sit here in the smoke like it is and just sit there and just take that smoke in and eventually getting chewed by an ant right now eventually the smoke will just keep passing over the fish and it'll cook it over time it's going to take a bit of time but it's going to be bloody good over here we've got a nice little fire going on and because we've got enough water to spare we're going to have fish with something else that goes incredibly good with camping missions so uh i'm bloody excited about tonight's dinner there's the water that we harvested from that tree today. That water is gonna sit straight in the fire. We're gonna boil the entire amount. We're gonna boil all of it. Also, you notice the brim. I haven't gutted the brim. I haven't scaled the brim. We've done nothing to the brim. It's just a straight up fish, straight on a fire. When you don't gut a fish like this, it keeps the moisture inside and it's slowly cooking. Look at this. That is bloody beautiful. Nice. Slowly cooked fish, freshly harvested water right there. Once that water boils, we're gonna put something bloody delicious in it. There it is. It's not bloody bad. What I'm gonna to do tonight is, I'm gonna get this mattress, blow up mattress. We're gonna be sleeping on this. We're going all out tonight. Told you we're going to be having something bloody good for dinner tonight. The old packet of noodles. You can't go wrong with a packet of noodles on a camping trip. And we, this would not be possible without that water we got today because I've just got enough in my backpack to get us through tomorrow and for a morning coffee. So this water here out of the tree, it's going to be done with the noodles. This down here is dinner for the night and I am pretty bloody excited about it. We got the bomber noodles cooked to perfection. We got a brim, big old brim. You just peel his skin back like this. Take off that top shoulder of meat there. I'm gonna chuck it in with the noodles. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cure. This right here is what I live for. Have a look at this. This is the bedroom for the night. We've stepped it up tonight. We're going to have a mattress. Last night wasn't too bad, but we have got the mattress down here. We've got noodles cooked in white gum water. I reckon they're going to be incredibly good. We've got a big old brim. There's not much meat left on him. Nice little fire. Making sure I chuck all the fish frames in the fire because the ants out here are pretty hectic, but look at this absolutely live for this kind of thing right now the only thing that's annoying me are all these flies dude look at the flies right now anyway let's dig into some dinner i'm hungry oh that is that's all time Well, it's that time of the night again. It is going to get very dark very quickly. There's not a lot of light left right now, but I can tell you one thing for free. This mattress that I'm sleeping on, the blow-up mattress, it is going to be an absolute game changer tonight. It's going to be epic. All right, my doggies, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. We're going to wake up. We've got more fun stuff to do. I'll see you in the morning. Much love. Shoo. Sure.
Dude. <sighs> Flyers are so hectic out here. Good morning. Welcome to day three on this camping adventure. Today's a little bit of a good day because we are using all of our resources right now. I've got my last amount of drinking water sitting down there in the billy. We're gonna have a hell of a coffee. We're gonna use the last of the food we have out here, which isn't much, but we're still gonna get a beautiful little breakfast cooked up. This is what it's looking like this morning. It's another beautiful day. There is not a cloud in the sky this morning, so it is a beautiful looking day. We've got a fire going. Last night's sleep, it wasn't too bad. That mattress definitely make a change, made a change, but right now, it's barista session time. Oh, dude, these pancakes are so good. Crunchy. I've been thinking about eating this pancake since like 4.30 this morning. Man, it's so good. Pancake and a little bit of coffee. This is a very, very good reminder why you should never throw food anywhere near your camp. Millions of ants down here. That's where I threw the fish last night. The remainders of it. Second round of pancakes are done. Oh, that's so good. Best camping food ever. Pancakes and noodles. Tell you what I'm not gonna miss, are these bloody flies. Right now we have got zero liters of water on us. That bladder is bone dry. So what I'm doing is I'm hightailing it on out of here right now. Today's forecast to be up around 46, 45, 46 degrees Celsius. So it's gonna be another bloody hot day. We got no water, but that was a super fun adventure, man. Three days camping out in the bush. I'm a little bit flogged out, probably need a shower, but I had a bloody great time doing it. If you guys wanna get your hands on one of these shirts that I've been wearing the entire mission, this thing saved me from the sun and this hood pretty much just keeps the flies and bugs around from your ears and your neck. If you guys wanna get one, we're just about to drop them on the online shop, fieldayshop.com. We've got these coming out, we've got new hoodies, we've got new hats, we've got new t-shirts. We've even got a couple of other secret little things on the online shop, so keep an eye there. They're gonna be dropping very, very bloody soon. If you enjoy these kind of videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I am dropping a brand new video every single week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys are subscribed, you guys know already. I bloody love yous. All right, peace out, much love. No. Oh. <laughs> There's a fly in my bloody coffee again. Ants everywhere. Last night's sleep wasn't the greatest sleep in the world, but it also wasn't the worst sleep ever. There goes another. That's about the eighth fly I've eaten today.